Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the final week of July 2021. I hope you guys are doing really well. As always, I'm going to remind you guys that it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If you find it's not resonating with you, check your other signs and placements. See if those readings might resonate a little bit better. And if you'd like a private reading, the directions are in the box beneath the video. Also, keep in mind in a general reading that the energies can reverse. It's not at all uncommon. And also, timelines are variable. So, let's get started, Gemini. Spirit, can I see the energy of Gemini in love? Gemini in love. in mind guys that sometimes I pick up on different groups of you it's not always the same Gemini okay. all right so Gemini you start out with the four of Pentacles in the reverse we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Knight of Pentacles coming out with the Five of Cups. Okay. All right, so with the Queen of Swords, that's very strong air energy. It's specifically Libra, but um, I, I have to say with it being such strong air energy um, and being a court card, I would have to say that that is, you know, you coming out in your power here more with the feminine aspect, regardless if you're a male or a female. Um, but, you know, basically in the pose here with this particular deck of somebody who is open to conversation, open to hearing what the other person might have to say, but at the same time, if it is not something that um, you feel is in your best interest, I feel like you have absolutely no problem with cutting that person out. So there's a there's a there's an air of fairness about this, but also an air of really kind of standing in your power, standing your ground. Um, you're releasing something here with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, I feel like you've kind of let your guard down a little bit, but you're also releasing something. And we also see that there's some sadness here and it has to do with something that is taking a very long time. Now, it could be a financial thing or it could be something to do with stability or just an offer, but it's causing you to feel sad. There's an offer of some kind. If this is regarding money, it's some kind of stability with regard to finances that's taking a long time to come through and it's creating some sadness for you. Um, if this is with love, and this is a love reading, however, you know, when spirit throws in other messages, because our lives are not just cut and dried, um, everything kind of interplays with each other. But if this is with regard to love, it'll have to do with a offer um, of stability, an offer of stability that is taking a long time. And I think that that might be making you sad. Now, I feel like you're open to discussion about it. You're open to, you know, having conversation, but you're also considering cutting someone or something out here and releasing it all together. So let's see who you are connecting with, Gemini. Who's Gemini connecting with, please? Show me who, show me who Gemini is connecting with, please. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. You may be connecting with a um, Aries, Leo, or a um, Aries, Leo, or fire sign, Sagittarius. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, and then coming out together, we have the Two of Pentacles reversed along with the Star. Hmm. Okay. So the person you're connecting with, um, I feel like they're very attractive. Um, so I can tell you, Gemini, that you do find this person very attractive. There is a spark between the two of you. This is going to be someone who um, I feel like this person is possibly an entrepreneur. They're used to being in charge. They're used to making decisions. 
and they're very action oriented. This is also going to be someone that um, I feel like um, people are attracted to. They gravitate towards this person. They're very charismatic, um, a very attractive and charismatic person. Um, but this is someone who there's a decision here. They've weighed it or they're, they're in the past, maybe they've weighed up their option options, but they kind of vacillate between being very balanced and unbalanced. Okay. And there's a decision here that needs to be made. Um, and it, they're not making the decision. It has to do with something that they really do want. But for some reason, there's not a decision being made. They're hopeful about it, but I don't see a decision. And that's probably what you're looking at over here that's making you sad as well. Um, now, this is somebody who either there's an ending of some sort or a loss for this person. Um, it could have been a financial loss, but it also may have been a ending of a connection. The decision could also be about a connection that is going to become more stable and that's what you're looking for to happen and this person's not making the, a decision about it. We'll know as we clarify. Um, Spirit, what is the energy of the connection? I'm feeling as if this person you're connecting with, Gemini, there's a an air of them holding back, but it's not intentional. They're holding back because they haven't made a decision. There's a decision that just hasn't been made. All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. So both of you have invested a lot into this, um, and there's a waiting period here that's going on in this connection. Um, waiting to see what's going to happen, waiting to see if what each of you has invested is going to amount to something, if it's going to actually bring forth what each of you is wanting, what is directly affecting this connection? And you're both being patient. I do see that. Okay, so we have the nine of pentacles in the reverse. So what's directly affecting the connection? Um... There's a little bit of insecurity here, and there's also um, a fear of loss. Yeah, insecurity and fear of loss. And it could be a fear of financial loss as well. Um, what is the outcome at the end of the week? What is the outcome? Okay, so we do have the Three of Swords. All right, so there's going to be a painful experience here. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, with this outcome that it's insurmountable, but I do see something painful um, occurring towards the end of the week. And we'll know as we clarify how that's going to play out. And this is positive. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. So that tells me that the, the underlying energy here is one of success. So, you know, both parties, I feel, are wanting a successful conclusion to this, wanting things to be successful, so that's very positive. So let's start clarifying here, Gemini. All right, so Spirit, why is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse? All right, so we have the Seven of Cups, and we have, again, the Five of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so like I said, there's something here that you are releasing. Um, you are feeling more positive because I do think that you have options. So you're looking at different options, and that's what's making you feel more positive. Um, why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? So you have the three of coins and you have temperance. Yeah, so Gemini, you're being very cooperative here. You're being cooperative. You're being very patient. Um, there's an air of, of trying to work together with this person to create a solid, stable um, groundwork here, which is very positive. 
Um, there could be something about contractual things as well. You might be being patient about something contractual. Um, but I, I feel like you're, you're trying very hard to be fair. And I do feel like you are empowered. You are in your power in this reading. Um, and you're balanced as well, which is very positive. So your energy, your energy in it itself is very positive. But I do think that you also have some boundaries here in that you will cut out anything that's not serving you. Um, let's look down here and see what we have. I think you are, you have options in this situation. And I do think that that gives you a sense of relief. Like you feel as if having those options is going to be helpful. All right, so here we have the King of Swords again. Now that's your card directly. Um, again, in your power here. So King of Swords, the Magician, and the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So that's perfect. So this is a situation I do think that you kind of were in your head about, you were upset. I think you were extremely worried about this at one point, perhaps even had some feelings of sadness, but I, I feel like you, you've kind of overcome that. You've kind of gotten in front of it and you're definitely well balanced here. You know, you're, you're embodying both the feminine and the masculine aspects in a very balanced way with the temperance card. And you're manifesting this offer. You're manifesting this to come through. And you don't mind it moving slowly either. So I, I think, and you're feeling more positive about it because there are options available to you. So I, I really feel like your energy here, Gemini, is really top notch. I mean, I, I think this is great energy for you. So I, I, I don't know what more you can do. You're manifesting and you're manifesting from a... A very positive, balanced place and a cooperative place. Um, you've released a lot of uh, any kind of negativity. It looks like you've released. So I, I like your energy. Let's see who you're dealing with, though. Like I said, they could be a, a um, fire sign. They don't have to be. They could just have those uh, qualities or have that in their chart somewhere. So let's see. Why well, is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? All right, so we have Judgment and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so if you're not with this person, um, they they would like to come back together with you. Um, and they feel as if that's in their best interest. They want that. They, they're willing to take action towards it. And they feel like that would be like the best thing, like everything would turn in their favor. Um, so they're very hopeful of that if this is someone that you are not currently, you know, with. So if there's been an ending in this connection, they definitely want a reunion. And they're hopeful for that. There may be some divine timing that's at play here as well. Um, let's see why the Ace of Pentacles is here. This could be somebody that you had an ending with because they've experienced a loss. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Nine of Cups reversed and the Empress. Okay, so, yeah, there's, I feel like this might be somebody that you, you broke up with. This is someone from your past. So, is this why you're looking at options, Gemini? Maybe this person didn't bring you an offer that you were hoping for in the past, but you're, you're manifesting it. Um, so, the person over here that you're connecting with, they've experienced a loss. It did not, it wasn't what they wanted um, because they felt like, they felt like there was a lot of growth here. They felt like this could work out there. They felt like there was a lot of um, ability for this relationship to become much more. Now, for some of you, this is a twin flame connection. I'm getting a lot of twin flame cards 
um, with Temperance, The Empress, The Wheel of Fortune. Um, we'll see if more pop out, but for some of you, it may be a twin flame connection. Um, and if that's the case, it would be, the feminine would be on, on this side, most likely. Whether you're male or female, the feminine energy looks to be on the, the side of the person you're connected with. Regardless, though, I feel as if this person did not want this loss or this ending. Um, because they felt like there was a lot of prosperity there. Let me look at the last energy. Because they're unbalanced. They vacillate between being balanced and unbalanced. And I can tell you there's something that they really want. But they feel as if a decision is not being made towards that. Okay, so there's the emperor. More twin flame energy. We have the four of coins in the reverse. And then we have the seven of rods reverse. So... The Four of Coins comes back to you, Gemini. So, and that would mean that over here we have the Empress energy. Over here we have the Emperor energy. So what this is telling me is that the Emperor, whoever is, so Gemini, what the, this is saying is that, Gemini, you released this person. And what your energy is saying, you release that person because you had other options. So you released this person. You released something here. Um, therefore, freeing yourself. But it did cause an imbalance. It caused an imbalance. And it, then a choice wasn't being made to fight for the connection with the seven of rods in the reverse. Even though this is a divinely guided connection, a choice was not being made to fight for the connection. So, that, that's what has caused the imbalance. The person on this side, though, Gemini, really does want to reconnect. Um, they want to come back together because this is not what they want at all. They feel that this connection is a divinely guided connection for some of you and for others, just that it is very, it's a very prosperous connection. Um, what I'm also seeing is that there was a failure of someone to take control of the situation and to, to fight for the connection. And so the connection was released. All right, so let's look at why this Seven of Pentacles. We're going to look at the connection itself. You both are invested in this connection. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands and we have the Sun. So there's a realization here that there are a lot of problems in the connection. So you've both invested a lot. You're both patiently waiting to see if the, the investment that you've each made is actually going to bring forth anything productive. But you're also both realizing that there are a lot of problems here. There's also the, the realization, though, that... Um, I heard that, yes. Um, so there's also the realization that even though there are a lot of problems, there's also a lot of happiness. And um, so my guides just said that for somebody, there's a pregnancy, that it, an unplanned pregnancy for someone out there. Yeah, there's an unplanned pregnancy for someone out there. Um, so if that's you, you, you know who you are. Um, and so that's playing into this connection as well. Yep. Unplanned does not mean unwanted, though. I will tell you that. Um, my youngest was unplanned and has been just the best thing ever. So, all right. So, let's see. Um, why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Okay. So, 
we have the Seven of Swords reversed. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So there's what's affecting the connection is there is some fear and insecurity. There's fear of loss. That fear of loss for you, Gemini, has to do with something that was deceptive that was um, discovered or realized in a long-term connection. Um, that's And that's what the fear and the insecurity has to do with. There was something that was deceptive in a, in a long-term connection. So in this connection, it could have um, also had to do with finances. There could have been some kind of um, deceptiveness with regard to money. And it may have been with regard to family money as well because the Ten of, of Coins has to do with... Um, like uh, inheritance sometimes. Um, it can be like family wealth. There may have been something um, dishonest within a family, but um, regardless, there is some kind of deception, lying, cheating, stealing, something, either within a long-term connection or within a family where there was some form of inheritance. That has created a sense of a sense of insecurity, a sense of fear that is affecting your connection. So let's see. Um, we'll get three for the outcome. Okay, three for the outcome spirit. Okay, so in the outcome, we do have the three of swords. Um, so I see with that that there is going to be something that's going to be a bit painful, okay? Um, and keep in mind, this is for a week. It's not forever. It's for the week. So this is short-term energy. Now, it looks to me like there might be a pulling back um, in order to basically to heal one's energy, to try to find answers, to try to heal. So I do see that there might be a decrease in communication or if if you're not together I don't see you coming back together at the end of the week um, because I do see this four of swords there's somebody here that is still needing to heal their energy they're still kind of pulled back still kind of trying to figure things out um, but I also see that a decision there's still this decision that needs to be made now I'm seeing a decision now I think it's on your side Gemini and I do see you kind of feeling as if you don't have enough information to make that decision um, there might be a fear of making that decision there's a, a feeling here of trying to not make the decision with your feelings but more with you know like rational and that's that same energy I saw over here, where you're willing to hear, but you're going to cut out anything that's not you feel is not good for you. Um, you're just trying to be very rational, very logical in your thinking. So I think that there's a decision still that's on the table. It's not being made, um, but it's because you don't feel like you have enough information, and you're a little bit guarded, to be honest. The person over here that you're communicating with, that you're, um, or not communicating with, but the person over here that you are in connection with, I feel like they're going to be pulled back. I don't feel like they're going to want to have a lot of communication. Um, so this looks temporary, though. It doesn't look like it's um, forever. I think a lot of it is being affected by this decision because the person you're connected with I think they feel like this decision needs to be made. It's their hope that you're going to make this decision. So for some of you, it's a decision about whether or not to bring this back together. Um, and I think you both kind of want the same thing. You want, you want to bring an offer through or to receive an offer. And you're manifesting it. And they're manifesting a, a reunion. You both want success. But there's... There's problems here that have to be resolved, and I do feel like, you know, the fear and the insecurity is affecting this connection. 
All right, so bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Cups in the reverse, which tells me that um, there is a little bit more of a sense of optimism, but there's a fear of being optimistic. It's almost like you're starting to feel more optimistic, but you're just afraid to be. You're afraid to let that happen because you're afraid it's just going to, like, crumble. So... This looks like an ongoing situation though. Um, I'm not sure what happened here, but there, whatever this is, is ongoing. I don't see it resolving by the end of the week, but I, I do think that there's a realization of a problem and that's a, that's a beginning point. And I have to say, Gemini, your energy here is really, really good. So let's, um, I'm gonna pull one of the um, healing cards for you guys and see what Spirit has to say. So, Spirit, I'm pulling for Gemini. Pulling for Gemini. Okay. Well, this makes sense. And it is 11, which is a um, God number, by the way. The number 11. So, I do feel like um, this is very divinely guided. For a lot of you, this might be a twin flame um, connection. Well, I can't say a lot of you. For some of you, it is. Definitely, there's a spiritual aspect to this connection, um, but it says, um, take off your mask. Take off your mask, okay? It says, stop trying to appear different to who you really are. It's time to take off your mask and be the real you. You cannot get the love and attention you are craving by pretending to be someone you are not. Why are you so frightened to be honest with yourself and others? Do you feel that you will lose friends and opportunities by showing others your imperfections, fears, and vulnerabilities? Are you constantly doing things to please others, even if doing this does not work for you? This card indicates that you do need time to get to know yourself and what is important in your life. You will know that you are evolving when other people's judgments of you no longer impact you. If you have an incredible talent, believe in yourself. Don't hide your greatness because others feel envious or resentful. Remember, every great leader had people who loved them and believed in them, as well as those who doubted and disliked them. All right, so there you have it. So if you're wearing a mask, if you're, you know, kind of pretending you, maybe you're not showing your emotions to your person, or this could be for the cross watcher who may not be showing their emotions to you. Um, but somebody is wearing a mask in this situation. So Spirit's advice here is to remove the mask. Take off that mask. All right. So I hope this has been helpful for you, Gemini. Um, if you would like and share the video, be sure to um, subscribe if you haven't already. And until I see you next week, namaste.